All right, today I'm talking with Joy Stokes. Joy Stokes is the creator of the one and only Joystick. Now, what is the Joystick, you might ask? Well, it is an essential tool for every type of digital content creator. It holds two or more mobile phones or tablets, allowing users to stream and record hands-free on multiple apps simultaneously. Joy, I mean, this is an incredible device. I will tell hands-free. you, I got- Hands-free. Look, my hands. <laughs> I got mine the other day, FedEx delivered it, and I will tell you, I gotta give full disclosure here. You and I were together uh, a few weeks ago on a call. You guys hosted a call, uh, a webinar for yes. live, how to go live and how to monetize it, things of that nature. And in yes. the middle of that call, you mentioned the joystick, and I immediately, before the call was over, I went out and ordered my joystick. You and did. I tell you, I've only had it a few days. I've got it over there now. It's actually recording me now. As we do this, I'm excited about it, but I will tell you, I wanted to have you on because I know in a time like this, when we are uh, you know, shut down, uh, we're isolated, things of that nature, this is a time where folks have all types of ideas, but I will tell you most of the time they don't act on them. So what yeah. I admire most about you and your story is the fact that not only did you have a great idea, you acted on the idea and you brought it to market. But before yes. we get into uh, the product itself, Let's first of all tell the folks who you are. Who is Joy Stokes? Joy Stokes is um, an entrepreneur. I am a mother. I'm a wife. I uh, am from Hampton, Virginia. I moved to Atlanta after I graduated with a degree in marketing from Hampton University. Um, and I started into photography. So essentially, I created a joystick because of the fact that I started in the photography, I got into radio, and when we were on the radio, we had just started the platform, and we had so many great guests that I wanted to try to figure out how can the guests also be seen, because Periscope had just popped up on the scene. Mm -hmm. now, Periscope was the very first live stream, other than Ustream, which is further, further back, but Periscope gave you the ability to live stream. And I was sitting there like, gosh, this is a great platform for our guests to be heard in a different capacity, but how can I take advantage of that? And, you know, I went home, played around with a couple different items, and the next thing you know, the joystick was invented, but it hadn't gone to market because I didn't even think that someone else would be interested. And so um, I am an inventor, and I think that out of all of the titles outside of wife and mother, um, I am most proud of the invention inventor title because most people that I know in my in my immediate sphere can't claim that title. Wow! Wow! Okay, so let's delve into that a little bit more. You know, we talked about this entrepreneurial spirit. I guess the question for you would be, where do you, you, you said, I guess you don't know very many entrepreneurs, I guess, so where did your entrepreneur spirit come from? Uh, if it wasn't in your family, where did it come from? Um, my, I have a, a long line of entrepreneurs in my family, to be honest. Um, my mom and my father were both teachers though, and, uh, but my dad outside of teaching had a print shop um, company where you know he, he would print, um, you know, your uh, church flyers, whatever you needed. We actually would go in the dark room. He would create it, go in the dark room, print it. We had the machine. Me and my brother would sit at a table and we'd go one through page 10, stack it at the end, um, put staples on it. And so I honestly believe that the entrepreneurial start spirit started at, at home yeah. and it just continued to grow because I noticed that I just wanted a little bit more out of life um, than what I saw a nine to five being able to give me. And, um, and then as I continue to, you know, um, evolve, and especially when I had my son, I was thankful and blessed that I had taken the spirit and turned it into multiple businesses so that for the first, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the first four Three and a half years of my son's life, I was able to stay at home with him and um, really be hands on. And one of my girlfriends was joking around with me the other day because I'm pregnant now. So me and my husband are about to have a daughter. And she was like, I can't wait till the world opens up so we can start traveling. 
And I said, I can't either. She was just like, oh, but you'll have the baby. And I said, well, the first three years is a perfect time to bring her because clearly she flies for free. <laughs> and then it just made us, made me think about how much travel I did with Brenton in his first three years of his life because, you know, I was able, I, as an entrepreneur, you know, you set your own schedule. And so if I had a nine to five, I definitely wouldn't have been able to travel as much and stay as extensively as I was able to with him um, being tied to a, um, a nine to five or, or desk job. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mentioned it. You are newly married and uh, you're getting ready. You are, you are uh, uh, real pregnant, right? <laughs> so I am real pregnant. I am uh, 24 weeks. We're due in August. The yeah. beginning of August, so hopefully all of this will be over with, and we can actually have the baby at the hospital. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> and, he can be in the, and he can be there with me instead of having to wait in the car like like he has to do yeah. now at our doctor's appointments. Wow, wow. So let's talk about this joystick. I mean, mm -hmm. where did the idea come from? Um. So yeah. So being on. So so really, it was being on the radio. I was trying to figure out how could we, you know, evolve and allow the guest to be, you know, seen on on more than one platform outside of the radio. Mm -hmm. Again, I went home and I just played around with some stuff. Um, I'm actually a full time event photographer, and so I just, you know, I think that really that's how every all inventions are made. You know, you're just sitting around like, okay, how could I make this better? And of course, for me, it was, how can I make it better for me, you know, and for Michael, my co-host, and one thing led to another, um, you know, it's evolved a lot when I, since I, when I look at the very first version of what a joystick looked like, you know, it, it definitely has changed um, for the better, of course, um, but that's, that's really where it came from. I was just trying to figure that out. I went home. And we, we were immediately using one at the radio station. We just didn't, I just didn't know that somebody else would be interested in buying it. And then we had a lady come on and ask where she to buy it from. And it was a wrap. I mean, I went and got the domain name. And then I just started trying to figure out where I could get things manufactured from. And again, one thing led to another. And so here we are two years later, the website went live and, 28 January of 2018. Wow. And you're actually uh, taking us in the direction that I want to go because I think you said it. I mean, everyone has ideas, but you did something mm -hmm. that people do. You took it from just an idea to actually taking it to market. And mm -hmm. that's not an easy process. So I guess, first of all, how did you start taking it to market? And uh, what do you feel allowed you to be successful in doing so? It's the Principles for Success podcast, so we like to share success principles. So what do you feel allowed you to be successful in getting it to market? Um, I think that what allowed me to be successful was the fact that I was actually feeling the need. You know, um, a lot of times when you're starting your own business, you don't necessarily have the budget to hire a videographer to to record you um and um and then at the same time you know now with all the different live streaming platforms you know you're able to get content out to just so many more areas and you know when you're thinking about growing your business you know you might not necessarily have 400 dollars to put to the side for you know marketing or for content creation mm -hmm. and so the fact that Everybody has a cell phone. You know, my 10 year old has a cell phone. So for the most part, everyone has a cell phone. All they need is the ability to be able to put it somewhere, you know, not worry about it falling off, you know, on the counter, not worried about um, propping it up or, um, you know, um, I, <laughs> I, the makeshift. You know, trying to figure it out without figuring it out. You know, it's I saw about you about saying rigging it, huh? Yeah, I, yeah, <laughs> rigging it. Is, uh, yeah, of course. I, I read it. It, it like it went like right across your forehead. It said, uh, and you just said, "Okay, I'm not going to say that." <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, I'm not going to say the first part, but yes, I could definitely say the second part. Um, but um, you know, just trying to figure it out. Or I have seen people where they have like 
eight different tripods, you know, one tripod is holding this, another tripod is holding my light, another tripod is holding my camera. And you know, for me, I, I mean, I'm, I move so quickly and so fast and I assume that most other people in business do as well too. So I just needed something that would be easy, lightweight, you know, that could get the job done. You know, um, I'm actually live streaming on the tall version and then we have the small one, you know, which is right here, which at the end of the day, you know, again, you can just, you pack it up, you know, you close the legs, you know, you take the tablet piece off and most women could stick this inside their handbag, you know? Um, and so for me, it was I just, I knew that I was able to fill a need when the lady asked for it. And mm -hmm. so once you know that you can do that, I love the the movie um, Field of Dreams. You know, if you if you build it, they will come. So if you if you have the idea, I, I always feel like God's gonna work out all the other pieces for you. And um, you know, truth be told, we started out with one product, and now we have you know ten products in the product line. Wow. See, I, that's the part that I love. I mean, because again, like you said, so many times we will, we will have an idea, but we don't act on the idea. Mm -hmm. So acting on this one idea allowed you to be able to offer so many other items in addition to the one item you initially started with. Mm -hmm. And it's just beautiful the way you did that. But also I like the idea that you didn't just say, okay, I'm going to just do it. And that's going to be the end of it. You actually also went out and did all the right things to make sure you patent the product that you continue mm -hmm. your idea to what remains your idea. And I think sometimes uh, as maybe for lack of a better term, uh, new inventors or amateur inventors or whatever the term is, we don't do the right steps to make sure that we protect that product. Talk right. about how that was important to you and the advice that you would have for others should they have an idea. Right. So for me, one of the things that I, I saw when I saw Joystick was I just saw legacy. I saw that, you know, I would be able to, you know, take care of my children's 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 children. And, and I knew that I had come up on a great idea. And so I knew I needed to do everything possible to make sure that, you know, Joystick was a name that people that would stand out, you know, in people's minds when they're thinking of, you know, a, a recording tool or a live stream tool. I, it was catchy, you know, um, so I did go out and I did get the trademark. Um, I paid a lawyer for that, you know, so a lot of times, you know, again, small businesses, we might not necessarily have the finances um, to go out and make everything happen but we've got to figure that part out, you know, because trademarking is very, very important. I actually did my provisional patent on my own. I had a, a, a computer aided designer, a CAD designer come up with my designs um, after I explained it to him. And that helped me with being able to do the provisional patent on my own, which again, you know, I, I had no clue what I was doing, but I knew that there was Google and I knew that someone else in my sphere of influence had to know something else that could help me. And so I talked to other people, hey, do you know this? Do you know this? You know, and luckily, you know, people really want to help you. Right. Excuse me. I mean, but a lot of times we get so stuck in our ways. We think that so many people are out to undermine us or take advantage of us. Now, mind you, there are those people there, but at the same time, I believe that God will put the right people, you know, around you um, if that's what you're praying for. And that's always been my prayer to connect me to the right people and um, disconnect me from the wrong ones. And so I was able to find a lawyer, you know, who kind of gave me some advice on 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 even just um, when I filed being a, a micro entity, which, you know, is a large is a large financial savings versus filing as not a micro entity. You know, I think I, I think it was less than a hundred dollars for me to file for my provisional patent, as opposed to it could have been in the upwards of five hundred or three hundred dollars. You know, um, so you have to make sure that you know you just do the business of the business. I made sure I had my trademark. I went through and I made sure that I got the my domain name. You know, I went to GoDaddy got my domain name, went to retail me now, got a coupon code through GoDaddy to save 10% off or something like that. Um, then I went through when I got all the social media. So, you know, 
it's a lot that we don't know, but there's a lot that we can find out if we do the research. And I think that a lot of times people want the easy way out. And unfortunately in business and in inventing something, it's not going to be, it's not going to be easy because, you know, I'm very spiritual, but you know, God's going to give you the idea, but he's also going to see whether and what you're going to do with it. Yeah. Because if you're not going to make it happen, I knew if I didn't make joystick happen, somebody else would make it. Somebody else would figure it out. And I just said, why not me this time around? And it worked perfect. My name is Joy. You know, it stands out. You know, we've, we've done really, really great during this um, pandemic, you know, because people are looking for something to be able to, you know, create content. And, and they want to be able to do it on their own. Yeah, you, you said two things there. First of all, I was going to point out the fact that your name is Joy and it's J-O-I. So when you say joystick, yeah, it's, I mean, that's uh -huh. very unique. Uh, that's unique. The invention is unique. <laughs> and then you were able to put that unique name with a unique invention. So it just worked out perfect for you. So we're like, who else can do this other than you? Right. I mean, right. <laughs> all of that just tied together, man. Uh, but exactly. the other thing you said was, when you went to individuals and asked them for help, I think one of the beauties of it, it was you had your packaging together, you had your act together, you knew what it was you wanted to do. And mm -hmm. I think so many times when we go and ask for help, you have to make sure that you give folks something to help you with. Yes, exactly. You have the idea, you at least have a good, clear understanding of where it is you desire to go. So that way they know whether or not they can actually fit into that. And I think you right. made that. Yeah, because at the end of the day, again, you know, when you're asking for something, you know, and possibly asking for it for free, you know, like you don't want to waste somebody else's time, you know right. I mean? So you always want to go into it with, you know, with knowing that I'm going to get something valuable, but at the same time, I'm going to give something valuable too. So if I can help you save as much time as possible, because I've done all, all the things on my end to make your job easier, you know, then that's, that's essentially the way you should approach people because people always want something for free and, you know, um, and it's unfortunate, but when you give something to somebody for free, nine times out of 10, they don't know how to treat it. They don't know how to take, you know, they take advantage of it. You know, and you could use the example of your parents buying you a car, you know, you don't get it washed. You know, you know, it's not, you don't vacuum it, it looks like hell. You know, then you go out and buy your own car and, you know, it's it's kept up, you know, no one's eating in the car, you're not smoking in the car, you know, like you you really take, you really take more pride in it. Right. And, you know, for me, you know, as I've been building Joystick, I prided myself on customer service because I knew that that was one of the things that, you know, like bothered me about other businesses, you know, like they didn't, they, they felt like, okay, thanks for your money. And that's it, you know? Um, and I just always wanted people to know that, look, I'm here to help. If you have any questions, let me know what you need. Um, I can help explain the products. I try to go live often to explain how to put your joystick together, you know, how to use other components, you know, explain how to, you know, create content, how to repurpose content, because, you know, now I've actually turned into, you know, a brand ambassador of, you know, something that I never would have thought in, in a million years, I would have turned into a brand ambassador for, you know, um, but now with me being here, I know that I have to take my position seriously. Yeah, yeah. You said something a moment ago, and I think, you know, this whole part about maintaining the success once you get there, it's mm -hmm. extremely important. And I think the customer service aspect of that, that's, that's extremely important. But I guess when we talk about what we're going through right now in the middle of a pandemic, when most folks are having the idea that folks, oh, folks are not spending, they're not going to spend money right now. So I'm just not going to do anything with the idea or the product that I have. Talk about uh, why that's so not true. Yeah, because people are spending. <laughs> you yeah. can go to Amazon, Amazon stock has gone up. Yeah. And you're not just, you know, spending on, you know, essential items. You know, I bought a coat rack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in the middle of, well, we're getting ready to go into summer. In the middle of a pandemic, you know, like I bought a coat rack. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So people are spending, people are spending money 
And so knowing that people are spending, you know, you have to do your due diligence too, because the blessing is, is that we're not going to always be in this pandemic. At some point, you know, the world is going to open back up again. And now what now, now would you rather be, you know, holding your product or your service or your business, or would you rather be like, oh, well, you know what I mean? Like I need three more months. God has given us the time right now to, take advantage and to um, really use this time wisely. And so one of the things that me and Sabrina were communicating to you guys about when we did live stream 2.0 is, mm -hmm. is that we never, we don't know when this time is going to come around again. And mm -hmm. so because we don't know that you guys should be pumping out content, you should be recording content, you should be doing everything that you need to do to make sure that when you come out of this, that you come out of it on top. This time right now is going to show you who the real winners are, you yeah, know? Yeah. And, um, you know, I was thinking about it the other day, you know, like a lot of biz a lot of restaurants and stuff like that have closed down. But then there are a lot of restaurants that are like, okay, well, how about you call in and we leave the food on the table and then you, <laughs> you pay over, over the phone with your credit card, you know? And we go leave a tip. A tip, uh, a little tip basket here too, or whatever. If you want to tip us, like that's thinking outside of the box. Yeah, your right. restaurant, you know, can't have fifty customers in it, but you can still ma be making money. And so, right now is is the perfect time for you to be taking whatever that idea is, researching it, reaching out to people, you know, who might be able to help you get good advice from people. We people are sitting, you know, people are at home. You know, I mean, and, and so we think that they might not have time, but instead of assuming that they don't have time, just reach okay. out to them and say, hey, you know, like, I have this idea. What do you think I, what do you, what could I do to make it better? Or, you know, um, what lighting do I need to make my videos better? You know, I mean, at the end of the day, again, I really do believe that people want to help people. But I don't want to help people that don't want to help themselves. And so you have to make sure that you're willing to help yourself so that other people see, okay, you know what? She's not playing no games or he's not playing any games. I don't mind, I don't mind sowing seeds onto fertile ground. Like yeah, no yeah. one's just going to go out and take their seeds and, and throw it onto to pavement. <laughs> Like that doesn't make That's sense. That's a gonna, very good analogy. <laughs> you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get, you're not going to to get your your fruits and your vegetables and you know your harvest by throwing seeds onto, uh, you know, onto concrete. So no, no, you can get right there. Yeah, no. So if I see that you're that you're hungry, you know, and that you're willing to do the work and and you're willing to ask the right questions and and you're willing to be accountable and teachable, you know, I'm all for, you know, planning into that. Good deal. Good deal. I, I like that, you know, because again, don't invite me into chaos, but again, invite, invite me into something that's organized and you have a plan and a strategy. And then mm -hmm. I can see how I fit into that strategy and help you to move that forward. So I absolutely love that. I was exactly. going to ask you what advice you have, but I think you have really just laid out all of the advice. <laughs> in that piece so well I, lo I, I love the way sometimes you don't you never when you're doing an interview you don't know where it's gonna go sometimes you know absolutely but, um that's the beauty of it it really is just a great conversation and you allow exactly. the audience to pull from it what it is they need so exactly. i guess my next question for you then would be what was what was it like for you when you first saw this thing come to market when you birthed uh this baby in the joystick uh what was it like for you I think it was, it was it was very surreal, you know, because uh, a lot of times it's just an idea, and you go and you die with it, you know. It, uh, most they say that most millions and billions of dollars is in a cemetery because people never take their idea, you know, and do anything with it, you know. So the first time I, I got a product like like this, and I saw my logo like literally on the product, and I could feel the etching on it it was you know it was it was almost like giving birth you know yeah. um because truth be told i did i had an idea and i gave birth to it and it has grown and now again to see it go from one product to like 10 products is kind of like 
man, my baby is doing good, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, I see you, I see you, little girl, you know, do your thing, you know, but it, it is, it's very, it, it's, it's awesome because not only am I seeing it, but I'm seeing people, you know, use it. I'm, I'm getting great reviews from people about the product, how, you know, before, Hey, I use mine every day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so to hear people say that, that something that I thought of turned into a product and not only that turned into a product that was able to help them get outside of their comfort zone, um, is very exhilarating, you know, for my son to see it go from an idea to now all of this, you know, is, it's amazing because you know, I think that as a parent, we all, we want our, our um, especially our children, we want our children to be proud of us, yeah. you know? And so for my son to be like, oh, mommy, that looks great, you know? Or, and my husband and my, my family to just be like, Joy, we're really proud of you, you know? I mean, it's, I already pat myself on the back, but to feel all of those other people pat me on the back or whatever is definitely an amazing, it's an amazing feeling. And it makes me work even harder because I want to continue to make people proud. I want, I want to continue to come out with new products. Like, you know what? That's exactly what I was just looking for. I'm so glad that now I can support you instead of having to leave your website and go buy it from somebody else. And that was yeah. one of the things that I wanted I wanted when you went to the site for you to be able to kind of like get everything that you needed to be able to live stream or record from that one site and not have to spend money anywhere else. If, if not, if, if you don't need to. Right. Right. Yeah. I, yeah. You know, you talked about the additional products and I think that's the beauty of moving beyond your fear, moving beyond whatever hesitation you may have to go ahead and get that one product done. And getting the first one done then allowed you to be able to have the ease to do the mm -hmm. other because mm -hmm. like, of us have lots of ideas in us but again it's just overcoming our fear and having the courage to overcome that fear and step out there and just do what it is that's been placed inside you to do so i commend you again for doing it thank you you talk about people using it i learned of your class and this product because i was on instagram and yes. there's a photographer who she's a photographer a videographer i believe they're in atlanta and she was explaining the joystick. And I said, oh, that's interesting. So I went and looked at your page. And when I looked at your page, I learned of live stream 2.0. And that's mm -hmm. what that Oh, the class. class. Yeah. So that's yeah, how I learned that. And then you learned. actually signed up for the class the, that morning. That morning. That, like, yeah. I think two hours before you guys actually went on. Yeah, and see, you know, truth be told, Chris, that's another reason why you never know what platform, you know, people are going to be on. You know, and so right now, of course, we're Zooming, but I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram as well, too, because and I asked, you know, if it was OK, because, you know, it might just be something that I say or you say that might inspire the next invention, right. you know, or the next author or the next, you know, soap maker or whatever the case is. And and I never want to miss an opportunity to be able to sew into somebody. And so another reason why I love the multiple platforms, multiple device, you know, analogy, one joystick is because, again, you never you never necessarily know what platform that person is going to be on. And and, you know, one interview on one on on one platform being heard on multiple platforms, meaning multiple people, now I'm able to get the content out to even more people as opposed to limiting it to, you know what I mean, me and you, me and you right now. Now, of course, you're gonna repurpose the content and you're gonna put it on YouTube and it's gonna get, you know, amazing views and everything. But in the moment, because right. I'm not necessarily into editing if I don't have to, you know? Right. Um, and so I could just use it I can save it. I can edit it later on if I want to, you know, but at least I have that option, you yeah. know. And that's the beauty of that. I mean, and the thing that you took into account that I love is not only did you think about the cell phone, but you also thought about the tablet. And yes. I, have, I really, to be honest with you, I have very few, I'm looking at my iPad many times thinking, man, how can I really use it? Because I do most of the stuff on my phone, but I had to yes. have what I, 
Go figure. Uh, yeah. so, so you give me another use for my iPad. <laughs> yes, exactly. Stop using it as, to collect dust. You know, a lot of people use it as a teleprompter, you know, yeah. um, and, um, and so it, you know, or you could use it to record the content. Meanwhile, you're on other platforms at the same time. So, you know, it is, I'm on my laptop and I'm on two phones as well too. So right now I'm on three devices, AS3, you know, and, wow. um, and I'm able to have this conversation. I'm able to get content out. Of course, later on, I'll go back and I'll read the comments and I'll be able to, you know, respond back to people, you know, but, um, you, it's just, it's amazing how, if you just do the work, and I think that that's the, that's the, the main takeaway is, is that it's going to require some work from, from you, you know, um, it's going to require you stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing something that, you know, you're fully capable of able of doing. You know, we just get comfortable because we're like, oh, well, we don't have to do that. You know, like before this pandemic, most people didn't even go live. You go, right. you go now. I mean, and if they are, it's like not even talking about anything really, you know. Um, but now you go on Instagram and, you know, I look at my IG story and I can scroll over and Everyone's scroll live. over and scroll over. And it's like 100 people live right now. You know, um, whereas beforehand people weren't and, um, and it's really, again, putting the ball back in our court for us to say, okay, what you going to do now, you know, yeah. and, um, and whenever I feel like the ball is in my court, I want to know that I am setting myself up to win, you know, I'm competitive. So I, I'm, I'm, I want to know that I'm setting myself up to always score and to also be able to be kobe and pass the ball to shaq so you could score too you know there you go. i love it i love it as we get ready to close i guess the question would be you you're now at 10 products total uh where do you see joystick going from here um i have uh about i have some other ideas for some other add-ons um because again there are certain businesses that need different uh, different things to make their uh live stream or their recording um, run effortlessly. So I'm going to continue to add on, but you know, um, Lenovo, Sony, Apple, <laughs> uh, Microsoft, uh, you know, a cell phone company, if they are interested in partnering up with me, you know, I am all ears <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, because I do, I do have some ideas that right now I'm not financially able to make happen. Um, because I know it's going to, it's going to require more. Um, but the other beautiful thing is, is that I know that um, I, are, I have the idea. It's already written down, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just waiting for the right millionaire, billionaire company to reach out to me and say, hey, what is that idea? And can we buy it from you so that you can reap the rewards afterwards? And I'm going to do just like Tina. Just let me keep my name. <laughs> just let me keep my name. You can have it, but just let me keep my name. <laughs> okay. You, you said something and I can't close without asking this okay. because I think one of the things that also trip us up many times is once we have an idea, we birth an idea. Oh yes. We think that is the thing that we are to die with. It sounds yeah. like you are open to the idea of selling the joystick. Yes, I the am. right offer be made. Yeah. Well, you know, it always trips me out when I'm watching Shark Tank. Because I'm sitting there thinking, like, do you guys honestly believe that you'll never come up with something else? Like, do you honestly believe that this is, this is the only item or the only product that you'll ever have? And as I have started to... Um, network and meet other inventors, it's amazing to hear them say, oh, well, I've got like 30 patents. You know, I've got 20 patents. I've got this. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, yes, exactly. Like, why do we only have to have one? Why do we only have to have one trademark? You know, I mean, so the way it was set up, thank God, was my photography business funded joystick. Joystick in my photography business will now fund my nonprofit, the Pearson Academy. You know what I mean? So there, there, 
God has given and you have the idea for more than one thing, don't limit yourself to just that one idea or that one product or that one book. You know, like, it's amazing to sit there and think, you know, that that lady wrote that many Harry Potter books. Yeah. And they're like 800 pages long. <laughs> you know what I mean? But do you? But she didn't just think of one book. She thought of a whole series that turned into a whole series of movies. You know, um, and so, you know, that's the thing. You have to just know that if you came up with one, yeah, it's my baby. I love Joystick. But for the right price, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't Because you have other it. ideas. You know what I mean? Because I have other ideas and I have other things that I know that God wants me to do. And so I can't limit myself to just this. You know what I mean? And, um, and I know that as as those other ideas start to flourish. And not just that, you know, I love, um, there's actually a movie out called Joy, J-O-Y, and it is um, based off of the woman that was on Shark Tank, whose name was Joy. And I was on a plane, this was right before Joystick. Joystick had come out, I think I had bought the domain name, you know, but I literally watched the movie on the plane flying to California and I started crying because it was like my life. And I was like, I ain't give y'all the rights to my life. You know, like, because she came up with a product, she invented it, she mm -hmm. took it to market and then she became a boss and started helping. She was like an angel investor for other people who had other ideas. I okay. love that idea. You know, I love that I could help someone else financially, not just with my words, but I could write a check to a single mother <coughs> or a single father who has an amazing idea and just say, hey, look, take this seed and go do what it is that you got to do. Yeah, to allow you know? them to birth what's inside of them. Hmm? To allow them, help them to uh, birth what's inside of them. Exactly. I mean, again, I'm like Kobe, you know what I mean? They could be, they could be, you know, Shaq, you know, I just want to be able to throw the ball and say, Hey, look, cause there was a time in my, and when I was coming up where people invested in me, you know what I mean? Be it $500 or a thousand dollars or $2,000. They believed in me and the product enough that they said, Hey, I know if not anything, you gonna make this happen. You know, and you will give me my money back. You know what I mean? If that was the type of investor it is, you know, but that's what, that's what I want to also be able to do. I want to just be able to give, you know, without having to wonder whether or not it's ever coming back because there are people out there that have ideas and have book ideas and movie ideas. And the only thing stopping them is they don't know where the money's going to come from. Yeah, that is true. That is true. You know, I really, as we get ready to close, Joy, I guess let's first of all tell folks how they can get a hold of the joystick. Okay. So you could go to joystick.com, J O I S T I K.com. And right now we actually have a coupon code um, that is 10% off until Friday. Me and my husband, we just celebrated our first year anniversary. And so it is Ken's Joy 10, K E N S J O I 10, and you can get 10% off. Um, also, if you go to our social media, J O I underscore S T I K, you can see the coupon code. Um, just make sure that if you um, Google it, just make sure you don't add a C. So J O I S T I K dot com. Well, wow, well, wow. Joy, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Uh, Thank you, Chris. Thank you for uh, just sharing some of your principles for success. I think, you know, what you shared today will allow us to really think about those ideas that we have and to not just allow them to stay in our head, but actually put together a plan and a strategy on how we actually get them to market. And uh, so that was the reason we wanted to talk with you. And I, you. at some Thank point, you. we have to come back and talk about Pearson Academy and yes. all the other yeah. <laughs> Thank You're you. You're a serial entrepreneur. <laughs> Yes, I am, a, I am a serial entrepreneur. Me and uh, my husband, Ken, we just launched our podcast yesterday. Ken's joined the Newlywed Podcast. So, you know, right now, again, is the time where, you know, we'll really see when you come out of, out of this what, what people are made of, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, you should be figuring out how to think outside of the box and how to create as much as possible. And even if you do come out of this with your nine to five still, I just pray that everyone comes out with um, 
you know, their sanity. But I also pray that they come out with an idea of what they could be doing in addition to. I had a nine to five for a long time. My nine to five helped fund, you know, my businesses that I that I did on the side. And I, I never knock a nine to five by, by no means because I know that we all need a level of security, you know. Um, but I just pray that in the interim that people are doing something that actually feeds into their passion. Most people are passionate about their nine to five. Yeah. Oh, good deal. Well, again, I hope you have uh, you. taken some from this conversation. It's been a great pleasure talking with Joy. And I want you to now take the principles for success that she shared and apply them to your life. And hit us up on social media and let us know what it is you took from this conversation and how you plan to apply it. Until the next time, take care of yourself.